Did you know the death and resurrection of the solar hero or the sun god, sun deity at or about the vernal equinox is as widespread as his birth at the winter solstice. Going back to Osiris, Osiris was slain by Typhon and he is pictured on the circle of the horizon with outstretched arms as if to be crucified. That posture, that positioning was originally of benediction, not of suffering. The death of of Tammuz was annually celebrated or mourned at the spring equinox in Babylonia and Syria, as were Adonis in Syria and Greece and Attis in Phygria, which is ancient Anatolia, modern day Turkey. Attis is a man fastened with a lamb at the foot. If you've seen early pictures of Jesus the Christ, he is pictured on the cross with a lamb on his foot. Mithras' death was similarly celebrated in Persia and Bacchus and Dionysus, one and the same in Greece, right? You'll also comparatively see uh, ideas or like the same ideas appearing in Mexico and you'll see the symbolism of the cross, which is a symbol for the crooks, okay? And the, the cross is a symbol of the celestial positioning the sun has to go through during the spring equinox. In all of these cases, the mourning for the death is immediately followed by rejoicing, celebration over the resurrection. And I also want to note that um, the name Easter has been traced to the Virgin Mother of Tammuz, who was slain. And that Virgin Mother is Ishtar. Comparatively studying these practices, you'll notice that there's always a fast preceding the death at the vernal equinox. And we consider that, you know, modern day Lent. You'll see these practices in Mexico, Egypt, Persia, Assyria, and other places. And they're doing it for about 40 days. Now, in the pseudo mysteries, the sun god story was dramatized, right? And in the ancient mystery system, it was lived out by the initiate. Hence, the solar myths and the facts of initiation became interwoven together. And we can see that process. We can see the process of initiation in the scriptures. Therefore, when the master Christ became the Christ of the mystery, the legends of the older heroes of those mysteries gathered around him. Okay, quote, unquote. And those stories were again recited with the latest divine teacher as the representative of the logos in the sun. Okay, think about Jesus with the 12 disciples around him, comparative to the sun with the 12 constellations around it. So you have a festival of the nativity that has a date when the sun is born of a virgin. And you also have a festival for when the sun or the representation of the sun dies and resurrects.